Hello everybody, um, this is the April team brief and I hope you'll uh, find it interesting and informative. Um, we started a new financial year, we've just finished uh, the 16-17 year and I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everybody for all their hard work during the past year. It's not been an easy year uh, but I hope we've delivered most of our uh, performance and uh, financial targets uh, to, to at the end of March and uh, it's uh, you that's done that for us so thank you for doing that. Um, what's, the, what's this year, what's this financial year going to hold for us? I think we're going to see a, a big push on becoming increasingly integrated with other services. Certainly around we need to develop integrated place-based teams, certainly to manage long-term conditions and mental health problems. And so we need to be working much more closely with our social care partners, our partners in UHO, with the voluntary sector, with people themselves and with social care. And without working in that much more integrated way, we're not going to realise the benefits. Um, I've just come uh, this week from meeting about uh, information and technology in order that those system supporters working together, that we can see um, care records across the system uh, to help us provide much more integrated care for people, especially with long-term conditions uh, as, they, uh, as they get older. Um, what else will we see? I think we'll see more and more innovations in mental health. I spoke uh, last month about the work we were doing with Northumberland, Tyne and Weir, who are an outstanding trust about really getting those mental health pathways much more effective and efficient. And we know that pathway is under significant pressure at the moment. We've done some really good work. You've done the work. We've, uh, as I sit here today, we only had four people uh, out of county. Uh, it was 25 just before Christmas, so that's a real uh, testament to the success of some of the things that we've been doing. Um, we've also, we'll also be focusing on children's mental health services. When the CQC came last time, we had far too many people waiting for an appointment uh, for treatment. Uh, we need to work with our partners to reduce that. And to that end, I hosted a CAM summit with all of us partners across the system, uh, working out how we could best uh, ensure that we have the right resources in the right place to do the job. So only those children that need to come to our specialist CAM services will get their, the rest being managed and supported in the community much closer to their homes. Um, those have got to be three key priorities for this year coming up. Um, I just wanted to mention a couple of our teams that have had awards this year in the education arena from Health Education England. There have been two particular teams. One is our Diana training team who received special recognition from Health Education England in the work they've been doing in training and supporting uh, people to develop better care for young people in the community. And secondly, we also won the placement of the year um, in relation to some new medical student placements. So well done to both of those teams. We'll go nowhere unless we become more and more innovative. And a great example of that in the Trust is the Chat Health programme. This enables young people in schools to be able to text the school nursing service with their confidential inquiries and queries. Um, but not only have we done it in Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland, that service is now available in 20 trusts across the country and one, we've reached one million children being able to have access to that service across the country. Uh, brilliant uh, in terms of enabling young people to access health services and timely good quality advice. So well done to the Chat Health team that have uh, led that transformation across the country. Another innovative uh, thing that we've been doing in LPT is working in more and more agile ways. and. Uh, I'm proud to chair the Agile Programme Board and we've now seen uh, 30 or more teams go through a process of becoming increasingly agile, developing the products that we need in order to that we don't need to spend uh, time coming back to base, that we can communicate effectively with each other and that we've got access to clinical records on the go as we move around. This will enable us to plow more and more of our resources, not into buildings, but into people and the treatments that uh, we need to be able to provide. Finally, I just wanted to talk about the staff pledge. That's something that's important to me. It's about our commitment as employers to you as staff, but it's also about the commitment of staff to the NHS and to LPT. And we're trying to define that in writing. We've done some work through the LIA process in understanding what that pledge should contain. I hope you'll see copies of it. We approved it at the March Trust Board and uh, please, uh, please look at it. Uh, I'm committed to 
doing what it says in that pledge. We will be providing more support and listening to our staff and I hope you'll be able to uh, take in the spirit that it was, uh, was written. Um, you also see the staff lottery uh, being publicised. Um, this is an opportunity for us to raise money um, for staff health and wellbeing and the money that is raised in that staff lottery will be ploughed back into staff health and wellbeing but it'll also give some very lucky recipients an opportunity to win some money each month. Approximately half of the money will go back in prize money and the other half will go uh, to um, those health and wellbeing projects for staff and I hope you'll be able to sign up to uh, taking part in this. Because health and wellbeing is absolutely critically important. Um, if our staff are healthy, feeling good, good about themselves, then we can all be more productive at work. Um, and I hope you'll uh, join me in that wish. Um, so please uh, sign yourself up to that staff lottery. I think that's about all this month. Uh, of course, you're very welcome to contact me directly on my email or any other way. Um, and uh, have a good month. Bye-bye.